Victor Guetter brought uh, a car battery and uh, you know connected the, the jump leads uh, in his genitals and he threatened him that he's going to electrify uh, to electrify it. Well, the, the kids were a prize. Catching a, a kid uh, through a stone th uh, thrower was uh, a prize. For myself, I don't really remember as, um, considering, considering them kids or, 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 or a person, I guess, doing what we did the way we did it. My experience with the Christian peacemakers here in Hebron, Old City, walking through the streets, watching the soldiers patrolling these streets, it really does appear to me that these kids are being hunted down. The kids were a prize, as I said. Catching a kid uh, through a stone th uh, thrower was uh, a prize. And we would um, put them for the night uh, uh, where the gate post, where the guard is, which means that uh, everyone that comes and goes can see and, and knows that he is there, which includes um, high, everyone. It's high-ranked uh, officers or whatever. I heard and I believe knowing those people, that some soldier would have um, kicked, kicked the, the children while on, the, on their post. And uh, one, uh, one child um, got his ribs broken. That was, that was the routine. We didn't bring the kids um, to interrogate them. We didn't expect um, to get any information from them. We didn't want any information from them. We didn't even try to interrogate them. The kids were just, it was just um, a sack going from hand to hand, being taken, moved to here and to there, and just being there for a day and then getting kicked, literally, out of the base. I'm asking you again, I'm asking you a question. You're interrupting? I 
قريت وش اسمه صوت عيد يوم فعشان وصف في ذاكرتي I didn't know. I forgot everything. They arrested him. They beat him a lot. I talk with him close to the cheekbone, and they beat him inside. I couldn't believe when I saw my son, his uh, legs uh, chained together and uh, his hand uh, he handcuffed together, but really, really, I cannot, I cannot forget these uh, things. They make uh, for him like the animals, and uh, really, I. Nothing to do. We are not allowed to do. If they kill them, we are not allowed to help our children or to crying or to shouting or to make anything because we are Palestinian. I felt that I, um, I I need to cry, and then and then I uh, I I looked at it very rationally. I knew that if I'm going to pr to break now and cry, so it would be endless because uh, you do it every day, and those emotions will rise again and again because. And so I just took this and I put I put it a big stone on it or pushed it aside or whatever I don't know. So I just started to bring hush to bring drugs and smoke it um, long periods all the time and uh, many friends followed as well and this helped somehow to numb the feelings But it doesn't matter who was the prisoner and it doesn't matter what he did and it doesn't matter what the modern knowledge of us was on him Everyone is talking about the same thing כל בן אדם שישב אצלנו מאחורה בג'יפ, בזאב, קיבל את אותו טיפול. ידיים כמובן, כפותות מאחורה, חזק חזק, כמה שיותר חזק. אנחנו כמובן ישבנו על כיסאות, הוא ישב על הרצפה, בינינו. אני זוכר שלי היה כמה מקרים, זה נורא צרם לי, ואני... אני כאילו, היו כמה מקרים שאני אמרתי, אני רוצה ללכת עם האסיר ולהביא אותו, צריך לתת אותו בחטיבה. כי ידעתי שאם אני לא אלך איתו, מישהו אחר ילך איתו, אז הוא כל הדרך יחטוף מכות. ככה הרגשתי שאני משקיט איזשהו מצפון או משהו.
جابوا اللاند تبعهم او السياره فاخذوهم فيها وحسوا ان يعني كان كتله مستقيه وحطوها على نجي وظلوا مدينه على على المنتس تبعتهم اللي اسمها بيت رومينا بعديها جابوا لي كلب جنب النقطه جنب الكرسي برضه بعد ما ربطوه جنب النقطة سحبوه جنب الكرسي وبعديها قلت له قلت له أنا بدي أروح على الحمام ما قبلوش فضولت حالي كنت بفكر إنه إنه أنا كيف بدي أرجع يعني على البيت وكيف بدي وأنه يعني اللي بدي أعاود يرجع ياخذني من البيت هو اللي تو هو اللي أرادي وبعديها صرت صرت أحلم أحلام بالليل زي إيش تحلم؟ يعني أحلم إنه إنه هم دا يجيبوا لي الكلب تبعهم اللي أنا شفته آه بعد بعد يعني بعد ما طلعوني برا نزل نزلوا الكلب معاهم وقام وقام الطاقية عن عيني وشفت الكلب تبعهم وصاروا وصاروا يعني بالليل صرت أشوف الكلب تبعهم وهم كيف جايين يعني من بدهم يعتقلوني يعني كمان مرة When they arrested me, they put handcuffs and a blindfold on my on me. At 3:30, I arrived to offer jail, and the soldiers told me to take off all my clothes. They put me in a room and they gave me brown prison clothes. زي كاني انا جوا يعني محشور زي الاصفر كيف محشور بدفص انه من برا يعني حريتهم وانا في الشيء اللي حري يعني كان الهواء اللي بتنفس يعني مش لي يعني. I saw my son he crying and I cannot stop after. He is my son I want to say hello to my son. Stop don't say nothing don't touch him nothing nothing to do just You are like, like the wall, you cannot do anything. When I entered the court, I saw my son. He has red eyes. But I couldn't say yes. My son, he do it, and he say yes. I want to finish. Mama, I want to go out. I will see yes. Never, never, he said, I cannot believe what they, they make for me. I am like the animal. They are put me in the car to travel for three days in the, in the jeep. Nobody can help, nobody, if they kill me, nobody, he can help me. I want to go home. Always he said, Mama, I, I, in my dream, I, 
I saw that I see the soldiers they want to catch me and when they uh, they stop him the last time he's he has very very yellow face I cannot believe بعض حالات التجنب او الانكار عند الاطفال هي وجهتنا في الشغل انه الطفل ما بيتذكر اي شيء من التجربه اللي صارت معاه او هذا الغذاء انه هو عايش حاله صدمه اللي مر فيها وكثير من هؤلاء الاطفال انه هو بيعيش في حاله خيال وكانه شيء لم يحدث وكثير منهم ما بيتذكر تفاصيل مهمه في لحظه الاعتقال او اثناء طفلته التجربه يعني في, في احسن الحالات انه هذا الانسان راح يتوجه لحاله المرض النفسي الشديد في بعض الحالات اللي مرت علي يعني تقريبا حالتين مروا انه هو بيدخل في حاله فصام خرف شبابي. وبعض الحالات بتدخل في حاله اكتئاب شديد ومن الخطوره عنه. والخطوره في حاله الاكتئاب الشديد انه هذا الانسان بس الراحه لانه ينهي حياته. Most cases end in a plea bargain. Some of the kids admit that they threw whatever they threw. at their police investigation already and it's just a matter of time until the the lawyer will make a plea bargain with the a military system and the the judge will uh, accept the plea bargain then the, he will finish his sentence and he will pay his fine and will go out of prison but some of these kids don't want to admit they said we didn't do it and this is the interesting process because most of these kids eventually at the end understand that the shortest way to get out of the system and go home is to admit we know that there are certain international laws and there are certain israeli laws how to interrogate children or minors and it's not being respected when palestinian children are being interrogated they don't get to see a lawyer they don't always notify the parents there is no pre a, a grown up on behalf of the minor present in the interrogation they make them sign it on in hebrew which is not their speaking the language and they're also being kept in prisons inside israel which is also according to the international law is illegal Some of the accusations are so ridiculous that we can't believe it. Anyhow, I think that Israel politics is working very hard in putting a lot of efforts and a lot of energies and a lot of money into teaching the Palestinians lessons instead of getting out of there. It's a big umbrella that, that is called security that keeps under it everything. And I think that the, the thought behind it, I think that the thought behind it is, is will keep them under a very strict control and will catch them on every small tiny things that they do, even if they are 13 years old. In order to maintain ourselves as conquerors to maintain the occupation we have to keep the locals under very strict rule that they won't be able to plan anything ahead of time they will always be suffocated by actions that the army or the ruler is doing so that they won't get organized against the occupation They give them lesson they cannot 
they cannot forget this asana all their life. I, I ask a lot of women now to not have children because it's too much, too much to have children in the prison. It's too much. In all occupations are violent. In all occupations does not give any kind of freedom. And if you don't have any freedom, then you don't have any future. And keeping you poor and keeping you underdeveloped and keeping you under very, very strict security uh, hold. And uh, it's everything. It, it might, it, one might understand that this occupation affects everything. If you are in a place in your life that you choose not to avoid things anymore, so you see that the things are related and slowly you understand it, that you must confront your past and your actions in the past and how it, um, what it did to other people. If I would have met, met um, one of those children that are not children today, and I guess I, I don't have much to tell him, mainly that I'm sorry and, um, and that I was a coward, I guess. What I can't promise him for sure is, um, is a solution or, or better future. But I can tell him that I can hope and I can do whatever I do in my side and that I know a lot of good people in here, not enough, but a lot. And maybe one day 